Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. And thank you so much for rejoining me here with our man Hjalmar. Just wanted to take a moment at the beginning of the video just to um, just address a couple of points. Nothing pressing, but just wanted to uh, address them. Firstly, in the previous video, I sort of started a point and then didn't carry it on. So I wanted to address that. I asked you a question, what your favourite mod was. Um, the video has only very recently gone up while I'm recording this, so there hasn't been any answers yet. But I will get back to those in the next episode if you know if there's already answers at that point i will quite happily discuss them on the next video when there are answers but i sort of started the point that i've put these mods together for a particular reason and then never never got onto that as you're aware i've got a attention span of a gnat so i just got distracted so the reason i've put these mods together in this way is because not every and i think i've iterated this before anyway but is because not everybody's comfortable accessing things like Nexus and getting the mods together themselves and, and integrating them with the game and making sure they run. I'm fairly comfortable with that, but the workshop is really easy. Um, you know, not, not plugging Steam too much, but where workshop is an option, where workshop mods are a thing, it, it just works really easily for, a, for somebody new to modding. So that's why they are as they are, because anybody can just pick this up and run if they're playing Skyrim on Steam. But as we go now, we are away, and we are going to go for hitting the books. Saying that, um, we do need to go and see Septimus. So we'll go and we'll go and do Septimus first, and then we we could go for hidden legend because you there. Oh, uh, I I'm you not, in Sarpo, yes? I'm not answering you, you okay, man. attention that something was found there. And yes, I pronounced it with an M. I deliberately got your name wrong to insult you. I swear Arcamo is in something, though, with it with an M. I swear that's something. If you know what that's from, by all means, let me know. Ah, the sun. But we're going to head over to uh, CR Pal Septimus. Side point. Septimus, one of my, uh, one of my favourite 40k book characters. He is a thrall under the ownership of the Night Lords. Specifically the protagonist of the books. Um, Soul Hunter. And well, the the first one's Soul Hunter. There's a there's a trilogy. Not the most overwhelming writing of any 40k writer, but they are pretty good. So worth a look, but Septimus is a really good character in that. Either way, side point. We are heading over to this Skyrim Septimus to get ourselves access to the Cube of Doom. I know it's not really the forum for it, I suppose. Um, you know, I don't want to drag you off the topic of Skyrim too often. But yeah, if you're into um, if you're into the 40k books at all, whether it be the you know paper or digital actual read yourself versions, or like myself, if you prefer the audio books, you like to have something to listen to. Let me know what you think. What's uh, what's some of your favourite books and or series? Because of course there are trilogies. Don't don't just say like the Horus Heresy because that's like hundreds. But you know if there's if there's a, a, a selection of few that you know cover the cover the gist of a, an event that you're interested in, by all means let me know. Always happy to hear what other readers I say lightly because I, I listen to it. But what other people like in those series? Deep so let me know. In the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown. And rise oh, Septimus, you are crazy, aren't you? Here's the blood. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Mix away, old Septimus. <laughs> By injecting it into yourself, that makes the mixture, does it? Well, rather you than me. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger than it looks. What 
What is this? It's... it's just a book. I can... Well, thought I was going to have to put him down, but no. Well, they don't have any value, so we'll leave them there. Ogma Infinium. Some lovely drawings there. As far as it goes, that one on the right looks a bit necrony. Come, my champion. I am not your champion, monster. Who do you think brought Septimus here? Who do you think protected you on your journey to open the box? and lose my knowledge on this world. Your free will is an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business. But I will be in your mind. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Zarsis, my loyal servant. Wasn't Zarsis for hundreds of years related to um, Dagon? Away from the world, Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zarsis was worshipping... Oh, no, wait, no, Zarsis is the, um... Mage's Guild quest, isn't he? In the, um, in Oblivion. I was... Yeah, I was confused. Yeah, Mayrune's Dagon is the main quest line. So, yeah, maybe it is, maybe it is, but I, I didn't realise that was the case. Ah, the light again. Right, now we've covered that. I swear we're supposed to get level ups for that. Let's just check the book again. What is it? Ogma Infinium. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go, right, yep. So... I think the thing that we use across the most skills is the Path of Shadow, so we'll take it. Because we use light armor, sneak. We do use lock picking. We we attempt to use pickpocketing where possible. Um, speech kind of comes into all things, doesn't it? Really, we don't use alchemy. But that's the that's the only one we don't really get anything out of because we're not bothered about alchemy. Um, but like with with the magic, we're only using destruction, and with the warrior we're only using one-handed and arguably smithing but we haven't actually smithed anything yet i just picked it at the beginning so i feel like i feel like we've gone for the most effective one there and we will take the level up i'm gonna go for another one in magicka i appreciate that is a bit lower at the moment because we're in sunlight so we would have more magic otherwise oh we got two level ups i'm gonna put them both in magicka Pretty tasty, getting the old two level ups there. And uh, nothing new in one handed by the looks. Might have something new on the old light armor front. Now, I think our jump is sufficient to get us out of danger on its own rather than having the skill. We'll take into the Maelstrom. 10% less damage. Seems, seems good. We don't need any of those. Now that is pretty cool. Like we might, we could do an unarmed run looking at that at some point in the future. Let's see what the heavy armor unarmed is just for interest.
Doesn't look like they've got one. So, we could look at an unarmed run at some point, but that... I mean, I'd intend to use the same sort of things we've got going on now, but that seems really, really difficult. Um, maybe not use the Sheogorath um, difficulty mod that makes like enemies completely unleveled, because that seems like it might be terribly difficult. Go with Cut Purse first, and then we'll get Thief's Eye. Because I like that. Right, so now we're going to, uh, after all that babbling, we're going to be hitting the books. We're going to be making some real headway. Let's see where we've got to go. Okay, so... Over to Felglow Keep. We shall... Yeah, we'll probably just head direct, head over there and... I feel like we might have to come around there. Very uh, precarious position for the collage. That's not our concern. So we will see you when we are closer to hitting the books. I thought I'd save blocking out the sun until I was certain I was going to cut back in. Um, that's definitely the moon. It's probably up over that. So we'll get a bit of altitude. I mean, it's 6.40pm. It seems pointless now. I'll not, I'll not waste the arrow. Not that I'm hanging on to them particularly, but it's, it's evening soon. It's, you know, there's only an hour left of sunlight. We might as well wait. It's not that we're in any particular danger. Oh, I was wrong. There is a dragon. <laughs> Immediately as I said that. I'm going to go with Bloodbrand. Missed him with the first. He's coming straight in for it. Fire dragon, but we're gonna circle away. Yeah, he didn't like that one. Yes. Banged him right up. Well, I will say, I'd already decided that I was probably gonna cut it back in there before this dragon turned up, but that worked out very nicely. Nothing else really occurred on the way, but I see he was probably following me. As soon as I was distracted with conversation, he decided to swoop in there. I believe we've... Oh, no, we've only got one now. That is fine. Thought I could hear you. I say that can't be my footsteps lumbering around. Standard bears, no more, no more challenge really. Snow bears, on the other hand, very, very tough. Oh, it's all going off. It's all going off. Thalmors. Well, you might have fire, but you're not strong enough. We don't really shout, but we'll take it. Amulets are always welcome. Wine? Why not? I'll have some wine. Celebrate our victory over the Thalmor. that time. Oh, he's a fire wizard. Fire wizard. Oh, no. That's terrible. Definitely not saved. 
I haven't seen a dragon on the way over. They haven't they haven't spawned differently. But we have got a saber cat. Oh, right through the neck. Not much uh, not much you could do about that. Oh, yes, yeah, so he just he literally just appears out of nowhere there. I'm gonna hit him with a profane sun this time. Or are we? Oh no! That was not good. Well, we'll make our way over again. I've got further to go as it stands. We need to sort of swing over that way. But yeah, it was uh, it wasn't having any of it that time though. I mean, it just shows you they, you know, they uh, they aren't anything to be trifled with. Oh, but he's back. It didn't help that I was short on life at the time. Oh, he's come again though. Same fella. I'm going to go with the Profane Sun again, but I'm actually going to just quickly just take that. This, this one really likes getting in there, doesn't he? Circle away from him. Fane Sun's really doing him over there. That'll do for me. Of course, no Magicka regen as it stands because we are out in the daylight. Which is not very good given we're going to be going up against some mages, so we'll drink that. Hey! Our man Make! Nords are so serious about beards. So many beards. Maik thinks they wish they had glorious manes like Kajit. Well, I do have a beard. Um, me, not Hjalmar. And I do wish I had a glorious mane. So, if I am anything like a Nord, or if they're anything like me, rather, then I think Make has hit the nail on the head. Who wouldn't want a mane? They're absolutely fabulous. Right, we're going to take out the Flame Astronaut quickly. And hope for the best. Try and snipe him. Stay behind here till he's burst, because he's a fire mage. I'm not. I'm not falling for it. Oh, he nearly got me though, didn't he? Ice mage, we're not bothered about you. You've got no chance. I'll come in there and finish you off myself. Well, that was never going to win me, was it? Lifeblood absorbed. You've got nothing of value. What about matey boy up here? Where did he end up? Could be anywhere now, couldn't he really? Oh, is that him? We'll take it. Probably never going to use a cartridge recital, but we'll take it. Get into the dungeons.
I don't think he's saying that to me because they've got no idea that I'm here. They'll probably give me away though. <laughs> They're already dead. And so are you. You're an apprentice ice mage and you think you can take out the single most powerful vampire in Skyrim. I think not. Itself more than once? Yeah, it can. Okay. Frost runes hurt. Got plenty of blood though, so we're okay. Now I'm aware we could free these wretched fools. But I have no intention of doing so. They are they are weaklings. Any vampire getting themselves caught up. Oh dear. Flaming things, we don't need this, we don't need that. Whatever he's charging up there, we did not want to be on the end of. I should have paid more attention to my surroundings. But we do not need support from these weak vampires. Here we go. And there you go. Never should have come here. Well. I can see why you feel like that. But I disagree. <laughs> Strangely, I can't sense Vitae on them, which is weird. That's fine, we weren't trying to. Anybody there? Yep, I am. Oh, we are the Sneak Master General now. That feels very tasty. Rip. Sorry for what they did to you, my friend. But not not sorry enough that I'm gonna do anything about it. Particularly I came here to kill them anyway, so you know. Hopefully vengeance is sufficient for you. He knows something's wrong, but he doesn't quite know what. It's this. Please, please let me out of here. You'll have to let me out. They're going to do something awful to me. Oh, I'm going to do something awful to you. Oh, you've saved me. Thank you so much. Who knows what they'd have done to me if you hadn't come along. I promise I'll help you get out of here. I don't want your help. Ah, I see. Well, then I'll just stay behind you a little bit and follow along quietly. You don't should you leave, Hawthorne. If you don't get away from me right now, I may kill you myself. I was only trying to help you, you know. You cannot help me, Hawthorne. turns you inside out. All right. Ah! Too graphic to show, apparently. But you saw me choke slam him, and I was entirely justified for that. I told him not to antagonize me. I told him to get away, and he got shirty after he's seen that I'm a one-man army. So, yeah, in my book, he's brought that entirely on himself. I feel no guilt. Has anybody got a key? No. I will take that Briar Heart, though, just in case. Never know when that might come in handy. By all means, let me know. Do you think I was wrong for murking Orthorn there? 
Now, I will say, you're not going to make me feel bad for it, but I'm interested to know what you think. But I felt he thoroughly deserved that. I only wish we could have seen his head be smooshed under the great foot of justice. Fire was dangerous. How did I get up twice? I didn't. Is someone there? Yes. about mages without their shields they are nothing cinematic that time but we did we did what we said we would right now I thought I had profane sun equipped for some reason last time and that is my intention That bit of magic, but that's fine because it did exactly as I intended to do. Are they still alive? Doesn't work through bars. I'll just put you out of your misery. Can't save you from that cage, so. They are already saved. If you stick at me all you want, skeleton. Yeah. No chance. Well, at least we got a save now. In case we uh, bottle it again. <laughs> Fucking sneak. Oh, frost fella. Uh, not frost, sorry, shot. Gonna get away from him. Get the profane sun ready. Uh, bottled it again there. That'll do, that'll do. We're both playing the same game here. I think we 
we're hitting with it though. It's an arch cryomancer. That's why he's uh, that's why he's capable of damaging me so. But that'll still burst him. Look, any good loot though. Ah, so that would have... No. You didn't see the Ice Mage, and now your time is gone. Very good. I think that's true for you, not me. <laughs> Should leave a head propped up against the candle there. Like a trick shot. Oh, it's a shame nobody's sleeping. with a drain, get ourselves get ourselves a blood potion out of it. I think that's the first time we've killed a hostile target with a drain. And now we're going to run full bore. One shot at it, that's pretty tasty. But equally I think that explosion may have one shot at us, so got to be careful. And we're in. Better be somewhat decent in here after it's you know locked behind two adept locks. No. Nothing really. Some shrooms. I don't need no shrooms. Well, it hasn't removed my vampirism, but as a result, we can't get any diseases. So that was largely pointless, but we'll take it. It's the auto save there randomly, like that's a scripted auto save then. I forgot it did that. I mean obviously I've played through this mission before, but it's quite nice it does that, but surely it's gonna auto save so when you get through the anyway. One who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice to meet you. That seems particularly faked. How dare you! I'm gonna take their books. Have a fine sun, yo. <laughs> yeah, I weren't taking any chances with you. I'm gonna just take the books and be on my way and blame you for Orthorn's death. Other than to Urag, I'm sure Urag will. Um, I think Urag would be like, yeah, he deserved it. A large empty sack. Well, we don't want that. We already know alarm. But 
we did pick... Can we drop that? No. Nor that. make our way out. Well, there we go, quest completed. So we will head ourselves back and hopefully now the Archmage will go to sleep. But one never can be sure with that cheeky old fella. So we're going to... Uh, I'm going to hit and hope, see if he goes to bed now. Got a fair old ways to go. Wonder if we'll get any more dragon attacks. Now if we do, I shall cut back. Otherwise, I shall see you when we arrive. Nothing really occurring. Pretty run-of-the-mill rundown. A few, few bits of wildlife, but nothing, uh, nothing particularly offensive. So we shall see what Urag has to say. Now we've returned his fancy books. Urag never goes to sleep either. These books poorly. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabel if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And... Here. I suppose you've earned these. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for all the books in my inventory already, I wouldn't mind so much. There we go. Conjuration. Enchanting. Not that we use that. Alteration. Read that. Restoration. Destruction. That is the one that matters. Illusion. And that is all. So what does he want us to do now? Tell 12, dear. Okay. We'll go and have a word with Tolf here, and then we'll go and have a word with the Arts Mage. Good to see Skyrim still has such fun. So you've brought the old back with you. you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is Said Reed Knight of Tears. Beneath Sarthal? Well, I mean, something you referenced Knight of Tears when we were in Sarthal, so I'm pretty sure it is. It. I don't. I just can't seem to tear myself away. What if, if you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment? I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Aelid, Gwemma, Daedric, not even Falmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. All right, Tolf dear, no need to flex on me. This marvelous You don't know anything about me, Tolf dear. It's magic. I am younger than you, but I, you know, I'll still look like this in a thousand years. So, Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must intrude. It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. 
<laughs> Tolf Deer getting his back up. Serious research. You were just flexing on me, Tolf Deer. That wasn't serious research. Like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later. Never stop Tolf Deer mid flex. He absolutely hates that. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? I. Oh, shut up, Arcana. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Sid your quarter, man. Come on, then. Why have you locked the door, Arcano? It was open earlier. Why have you locked it just to be petty? Ugh. Archmage likes me. We're tight. You don't need to lock him inside. And if anything, you've locked him in with someone from the Sigic now, Order. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here. And then... Just go through the door. Just go through the door. Okay, man. By the time you get up here, we'll have already had our chat, Arcamo. Please, it is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object. The Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. What does it you have to do with me? You events in motion at Sarthor. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, oh, it's Onkano. I call him Arkano. You must take it upon should be Onkano. To do so. Well, I've been saying that wrong for about ten years. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. Sometimes you just see it the way you want to see it. The world it. is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon. Something that cannot be avoided. Well... Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the Eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my Order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I, Where can I find the Augur? I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm oh, I sorry. shan't. Will you ever say something? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Have you ever heard of the Ogre of Dunley? Have you been telling stories again? I thought I made. Please. Don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. So Tolfdeer knows, eh? Well, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now, and Carno getting you his want? back up again? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Now, Archmage, if you would do me a solid and go to bed, that would be brilliant. So, I'm pretty sure last time I did this, um, 
see, well, last time I tried to, you know, play through Sacrosanct, I I was able to feed on General Tullius while he was, like, the quest wasn't started for the Imperial Legion, uh, because I, I very, very rarely ever do the Imperial Legion side. Um, so I know full well that I fed on him through the sneak feed, and then everybody in that room kicked off and, like, absolutely went on hiatus about it so I feel like the fact that the sneak feed just intermittently isn't working might stop me doing blue blood because I mean sorry to spoil it for you if you've not played this game in the 11 years it's been out or 10 years it's been out or whatever um, but the Archmage dies fairly soon and at that point we're not going to be able to see the uh, not going to be able to see the quest done in terms of blue blood for him so that leaves us with Mercer, who I'm almost certain never sleeps, and Astrid, who possibly does. So I think what we might do is we might divert to we might divert to the Dark Brotherhood quest line and see if we can get Astrid. Quick question here on the post edit. One of the upgrade perks for the vampires when you when you level up as a vampire says that you can feed on enemies that are staggered. Has anybody tested whether that works by beating up a key character and then feeding on when they're on the ground? So we might have more opportunity to actually get Astrid. And I think that would be it. I, d I know you don't have to get all of them. And I, I seem to remember that Masquerade's the second to last pretty sure it is so i'm sure i only need one more of them and then we're laughing so i think in the next episode we will go for the dark brotherhood situation and we also want to do the sarthol amulet so we'll do the sarthol amulet at some point we have also got a bit more to go in terms of being a vampire so we need to get to 480 to see if that's the highest level if not it's the one after that so we need to go and hunt down some more fools so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time in the underhive